We're back. Hey. Here we go. Top 10 for the week. Uh, I think we did a good job last time. Kept everything short. We look, cut off like 20, 25 minutes. That's pretty good. Yeah. So um, mm-hmm. we got our top 10s this time. So hopefully it'll be just as short and sweet. And yes. uh, this is for the week of 9, 29, 21. So we have some we have some wild picks in our skip it to oh, yeah. So I'm curious to see what's going to be in your top 10. You as well. Um, yeah. So once again, if hmm. you're not familiar, I am Drew with Comics Elite here with Kyle, not Kevin or Sean, because Sean is uh, launching 10 covers for New York yeah. Comic Con, getting things set up for New York Comic Con next week. It's a whole thing. And uh, stay tuned after the at the end of this video, guys, because we got a big announcement, Ooh. big announcement coming tomorrow. It's going to be happening tomorrow. Right. So oh. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek tonight. Ooh. But uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and like get, jump right into it. Okay. Get into our top 10 for the week. Okay. Counting down from 10 to 1. 10 to 1. Okay. Here we go. Number 10. All right. Number 10. Inferno okay. number 1. Spawn 322. Okay. And uh, that was a meh for me. I just didn't have space for it. It's a good comic. Oh. So. Yeah, like, like I said in the previous video, uh, with Halloween coming up and everything, if you like Saw... And you like that type of horror body mutilation? I, you're gonna love this issue and what Spawn does. <laughs> it is creepy, horrific, disgusting, and amazing. <laughs> and I loved every bit of it. This was a this was a solid book. I had so much fun. I could well, I couldn't wait to get to the next page to see what was gonna happen. <laughs> Very rarely do I do that. And I did a couple yeah. times this week too. So I gotta say this this was a lot of fun. This yeah, it was week. art is solid, good, and it's yeah, good. yeah, great. I got Inferno number one. This was a meh. Mm-hmm. You. This is a pick for me. Uh, I love the beginning of this. You know, yes. they're just going through the motions again. It's like, because mm-hmm. they're always, you see like these doomed failed attempts. They're trying to stop the machines, but they can't. Yep. And they have to figure out like, what can we do to fix this? You know, they're talking about that. Mm-hmm. It kind of gets bogged down in the middle a little bit. Yes. But at the end of this, they kind of turn a corner because they break one of their ru- break one of their laws. Mm-hmm. Um, because it's something more of Taggart said, we're not going to, we're not doing this with her. But by the end of it, it's like, Oh <laughs> shit. Bit has hit the sham. Yes. It so does. Um, for me, this was a big issue. This was a, this was a fun read, especially at the beginning and at the end mm-hmm. middle is kind of wonky, but yeah, it's a solid recommend. Yeah. yeah. It was, a. Am- it just teetered on like 11, 12, just, just like, you know, it could have easily kicked. <laughs> I didn't want to kick spawn off because yeah. I loved it so much uh, overall. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's right up there with mm-hmm. me, and I'm shocked for an X-Men title. So yeah, it's good. Hey, hey Hickman yeah. wrote it, so yeah, it's good. Number nine. Nine. I've got Robin. Number six. What's this? Oh, Echo Lance. Number Echo two. Lance. Number yes. two. This. Did, did you read issue one? Yeah, I finally read issue one. Okay. Thank God, because okay. if you mm-hmm. don't, yeah, you're gonna be lost. Yeah. And I can see how you could easily get lost. Yes. With it. it is so wonky. Yes. And wild, and but unlike but, Amazing Fantasy, yes, this is awesome. And not only mm-hmm. that, reading this mm-hmm. is fun. Yes, just you know, having to read it like it's like, and the art is unbelievable. Yes, J.H. Williams. This is, is arguably. Oh. Let, me go, let me go through my roll, memory roll of decks. Probably, man, it, there's some good stiff competition, but it's arguably one of the top three best illustrated comics this week. It's a, yeah, the, the best. It is amazing. Yeah. It is so fun. And it, it's a, you know, one reason why it's not up, it's a, it is a chore to read it at times. I feel mm-hmm. like, cause it is so, but when you really think about it, sorry, there's really not much going, going on here. There's it's not. It's just, they're just escaping. <laughs> they're just on the run. Yeah. Yeah. And what happens like that robot, they come yeah, across. across. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, what the hell? It gets pretty gruesome. It's pretty awesome. My God, you're a robot. <laughs> um, but yeah, the art is just, it's terrific alone. Like pick it up for the art. If you have not read this book, don't read this online either. No. Pick this up. If you can find it, get it, read it. Just you don't even have to read it. Just look at it. Would mm-hmm. you look at that? Just look mm-hmm. at it and you'll be mesmerized. Yes. It's great. Robin number six. Oh yeah. The tournament begins. Mm-hmm. And yes, there is fighting. There's a lot of fighting in this. A lot of blood and guts. There's a lot of killing in this too. A little bit. Yeah, it, more than two pages. <laughs> but the, uh, the, the, the big, the big, you know, great because it's like with any tournament, whether it's in a movie, a video game, 
a real tournament, you know, the easy matches are starting off. Those are the, the beginning, very, very beginning are the easy matches, like how much this issue is. But the, the, the um, mother of soul even brings up, it's like, how can you defeat your friends? You know, how do you plan to defeat your friends? It's like, because you're kind of friend, they're friends with one another. So it's like, it's going to get interesting the next issues. So I'm curious to see how that plays out. Yeah. And mother soul may not be who she really is. So maybe not. Yeah. I had a lot of fun reading this. There's a lot of fighting. And, you can't uh, say a lot. Yes. There, yes, is there is some. There is a lot. Read his guys and find it. You tell me. Yes. Tell me. Yes. Some. Tell us in the comments. <laughs> right. I had fun reading this. Recommend. <laughs> All right. The Ocho. The Ocho. I got the amazing Steve Spiderman, 875. No, nah, I got Legends of the Dark Knight, number five. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That was a skip it for me. The art may not be the best. No. Um, but I like what they did with Calendar Band. Mm. And I liked the Martian calendar and then Batman having to rely on on John to it's like explain like, okay, what is this date? What is this, why is this represent what? And what's the point of this? And you know what counter man's trying to do by summoning this demon thing and what happens to him. It's kind of ridiculous. And you find out Batman's birthday. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had a lot of fun reading it. I thought it was okay. great. The art does deter if they had a better artist on it. Um, it could have been all, it could have been easily top five, but I had I had a lot of fun reading it. I thought it was great. Okay. Yeah. I disagree with you, but okay. okay. Yeah. Disagree. Yeah. I disagree with you on it's, Amazing Spider-Man. Yes, A75. This is it for Nick uh, Nick Spencer. This is his last issue. This does go out with a bang, although it doesn't give me the whole conclusion I wanted because uh, they were, we were kind of teased with that they were going to fix something. Yes. But it doesn't happen in this, no. unfortunately. I but, thought I was um, going to. Yeah, me too. But um, there's tons of fighting in this, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, it really is a solid, good ending to what happens. And there's some great backup stories in the back with Peter and uh, a guy who knew okay. Uncle Ben. Mm -hmm. And another one involving Ben Riley later on, too. That yes. leads to the next series. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, this is a solid recommend. So fun it's a it, On another week, it may have eked into the top ten. Mm -hmm. um, I just found it kind of repetitive in the, in the middle mm -hmm. there. Opinions. Okay. <laughs> uh, number seven. All right. Right. Seven, right? One, seven, three, yeah. Five, six, yes. I got Death Stroke Incorporated, number one. Oh, I got Department of Tooth. Oh, the Department of Tooth. Okay. Yeah. Now, I think I had it as a meh, yes. You I had it as a meh. To be fair, you have not been a huge fan of this to begin with. No, anyway. I jumped in on a point where I thought, okay, this is actually kind of good. But then I'm like, these covers are really pissing me off. And the Bigfoot story really just kind of like, I will this give was you, a bit yeah, much. Yeah, the Bigfoot story was a little, okay. And it is a lot to read. <laughs> not just that, but I'm like, this is, feels like a suicide note. Jesus it did. Christ. It's like you're it's like talking about a long walk for a short drink of water with yeah. that one. This one was creepy. Mm. The satanic panic? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And what happens when he goes down into the school and then mm -hmm. like it's it's going down it's kind of like dante it's like it's it's creepy and the the creature that he brought up and it's the old man giving him his options like this is what you can do this is what you're up this is what you have to do and or you can do this i i i really liked it i haven't been a huge i i liked department of truth mm -hmm. and then i felt like it kind of overstayed its welcome like a lot of things tend to do yeah um but i feel like it's not having as much fun as it should be this could, yeah. be having, this could be having a lot more fun than it actually is. Yeah, there's so many conspiracy theories out there yeah. that you could play with. Like the like moon, the moon, the moon landing. landing. <laughs> <laughs> but this one, I, I thought I thought it was a lot of fun. And the way it was drawn, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of this art, but in this book, I felt that it really did it justice and how creepy it was. So it's a solid recommend. I had a lot of fun reading it. All righty. Next up for me, I got Deathstroke Incorporated, number one. Uh, this was a wild <laughs> and fun ride. There's a twist with Deathstroke, and now he's on the side of the angels. He is. Now, yeah. But he and Black Canary are sent in to bring back the Hive Queen alive, and there's some nasty, dark, flipping twists in this that <laughs> I don't want to spoil, but I had a lot of fun reading this. This was a fun, wild ride. That's a solid book. Yeah. It's a solid book. The art is great. Yes, Howard Porter is fantastic yeah. in this. Yeah. Yeah, it's a solid book. <laughs> I don't doubt you for that. I will agree with you. And number six. Six. I have Gun Honey. Okay. I've got Echo Lands, number two. There we go. There it is. 
So it, gun hunting, yeah. If you want a female James Bond, this is the way to do it. Yeah, yeah. I think this is a perfect way to do it. There is nothing in this that I just felt like eye rolly, ridiculous, stupid, over the top. It's like better than men. Like none of that is in this. If you just want to see a, a badass hot female do badass spy shit, that is what this book is, and it's completely yeah. believable. And I, I buy it. And I I had a lot of fun with this book, and it's just like, who the hell is she? Like you get a little bit about her past, and it's like I want to know more. And the cliffhanger at the end, it's like, who the hell is this? And mm -hmm. what's going on? It's awesome. And it's great, like, like how they portray her, because she's not necessarily somebody that does the killing. No, no. She more or less like, kind of like sets it up. Yeah, she sets things up. She doesn't yeah. pull the trigger. Yeah. But it's that, it's that moral dilemma, like, yeah, you may not be setting off the bombs, but you're giving the bombs to the people that are killing people. So yes. you're, it's mm -hmm. like, it's that quandary you have but it's great and she's smoking hot in this and uh covers great the art i thought is was really great um this is a solid mm -hmm. recommend and uh once again, echo lands number two it's a fairly simple story they're mm -hmm. on the run but it is worth it just for the art alone by jh williams that yeah. these pages are so intricately drawn painted yeah they are they are amazing you really have to. You really need to take your time to look at these pages. It is one of the most beautiful books this year. It is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I recommend it. You know, um, go through it twice, three times, four times, just for the art alone. Yeah, if I had time, if I wasn't reading thirty books, I would definitely have sat there and reread it and reread it just to get. Because I guarantee you, you'll find a hell of a lot more oh, than what you normally do. Yeah, so. and when the trade for this book comes out eventually, I'll be picking that up. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It's, it's hard not to. Good. And number five. five. Yep, five. I got Batman Superman. I got Batman Reptilian. Oh, really? Issue Batman four. Superman. Now this, um, it was a man for you. Yep. I had a lot of fun with it. Mm -hmm. I thought Mr. Mixy Plick showing up, giving him the hat, and then what ensues. And then what happens to Calendar Man, I, I didn't see happening in this book. Yeah, it's like, okay, that's one way to do that. It's like, oh, crap. It's like, uh, Oh, oh, okay. Oh, it's serious. You're going there, and they went there. Um, yeah, this was a lot of fun. It's, I, we get Calendar Man twice in the same week. Um, I've always liked Calendar Man. I feel like he's not utilized very well. No. Um, so, yeah, I had a lot. The art is terrific mm -hmm. in this. Um, I thought this was a solid book. It has been. Batman mm -hmm. Superman's been great. Same no. thing for me with Batman Reptilian. Uh, this takes a dark and nasty turn. <sighs> Real nasty turn. Oh, does it ever? From Jump Street, it gets nasty. <laughs> yeah. And we get a possible dark explanation to the origin of Killer Croc. It is so messed up. It's like I just love seeing Killer Croc's face. Like, wait, this, this can't be true. And it just <laughs> it's like Batman's explaining everything, and it's like, wait, wait what? It's just it, it goes there. Yeah, and it gets weird. Yeah, it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm not gonna lie. It's going to get weird. Yeah. It does. It, it, this story gets very weird. Very. Yeah. But once again, the art is beautiful. <sighs> Liam Sharp. It's another one. It's like, if Liam Sharp wasn't, if Echo Lance was now, this would be the my pick of the best drawn uh, book of the week. But damn, it's just Liam Sharp, his stuff is damn good in this. It is damn creepy and nasty. It is, is perfect for this. If it was yeah. anybody else, I'd be like, I don't It'd be know. tough. I'm... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Brian Azzarello, maybe, but. Yeah, he could probably pull it off. Yeah, no, no, Brian, I'm sorry, uh, Lee Bermejo. Lee Bermejo. Lee Bermejo. Lee Bermejo. Lee Bermejo. Yeah. Good. Yeah, like even someone like a Clay Man, I don't think. Could if someone's do good it. with monsters. Someone who's yeah. Good. When you get to this issue, if someone is good with horrific designs. Oh know. yeah. Yeah, I'll save it for a little bit okay. later because yeah. oh yes, but yeah. So there you go. Those are that's, that's our, our number five. Five. Yep. Right in the middle. Number four, the four. Quattro. I've got Batman Detective 1043. Oh. Batman versus Big B. Big B. Wolf and Gotham, number one. Very nice. So uh, I, to wrap up our thoughts on uh, this one, for me, I had a lot of fun reading this, Batman Detective 1043. Very fast-paced, incredibly well-drawn by Dan Mora. The Mayor's Kidnapped and Batman's in Pursuit. Love it. Mm -hmm. And uh, to me, once again, this is arguably the best Batman title uh, ongoing right now. It just I had a lot of fun reading this. We're not bogged down with every other damn side character like in the main Batman book. Sure. It's Batman trying to save the mayor. There you go. 
it's fantastic. Uh, raw, strong recommend. Yeah, it was a man for me. It's not bad. I just didn't have as much fun with it. This was awesome. Uh, the art is. I think it was Jay Leeson. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it's it's amazing. Yes. Bill Willingham did a great job with this. And this is Batman versus Big B. Yeah, uh, Wolf and Gotham. Yeah, yeah. So you get a lot of <clears throat> literary. Name drops. Name drops. Yeah. You have to kind of be like, oh, who's that? Oh. But, but they do, there's a little twist on them. At the same yes. Time. Yeah. So it's this cult of people who read yeah. librarians. <laughs> I don't know who they are. And what, what happens in this and what ensues. Uh, there's a scene in this that's really creepy. Mm -hmm. of a, it's a torture scene. See, and yeah. it's, damn. <laughs> like yeah. it, it goes there. Um, but yeah, it's Batman on the hunt for a werewolf. Yeah. And he doesn't believe it's a werewolf and it's that sort of thing. Like it might be, I don't think so. I want to get to the bottom of this. Like Batman does detecting yep. and it's this cult of people. It's mm -hmm. like, Oh, you got nefarious mm -hmm. plots. And now the big twist, if you're not familiar with fables, Big B is the wolf from uh, the fables, from the, from the fables series written by Bill Willingham. And he's the big bad wolf from uh, the three little pigs. And uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you've ever read Fables. You do seek it out. It is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So I thought it's a it's an appropriate crossover. <laughs> yeah. With Batman. So mm -hmm. I'm excited to see where it goes. It's one of those that I want to continue to read it. Yes. This didn't turn me off. Mm -hmm. It it kept me. It went. I want more. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is this is a solid recommend this week. There we go. That's our number fun. four. Yeah. Number three. Here we go. Into the top. A three. Tippy top. I got space. Space hey! bastards. Number eight. Space bastards. Number eight. Uh, <laughs> this issue is hysterical. This issue is flipping hysterical every time. time. Yes. Every time, it never fails to cross the line. I love it. I love it. I don't. I don't know how it continues to get. I mean, it's like the, the political correctness is out the window. If yes. you get triggered by anything, literally anything, yes. now you can't read this book. But if you want to yeah. have fun, read this series. Yeah, this was hilarious. Yeah. There is stuff in here I should not be laughing at. Yeah. That I'm laughing. Yeah, it's like, at. what the fuck? Yeah, it's like. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what happens? It's like, yeah. where did this come from? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I love it so much. Uh, all I guess, my favorite character of now officially is Zordak, the, the, green, the green. The green. green yes, he is my favorite. I, I love him. He I love the way he talks. Yes. <laughs> it's like Yoda, but hilarious. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, so. Um, I'm trying to think what it's so it's the it's the postal service getting yes. back at <clears throat> Will Power Will Power because he's he, at power because he's trying to institute that, that his uh, transport Tra teleportation, teleportation and they uh they're trying to they, screw with it they're trying to screw they try to take take it out yeah but it doesn't go according to plan nope never yeah. does yep and then one of the characters gets sidetracked right, yeah because yeah it does this where it gets deep because like he kind of accomplishes it but yeah. doesn't really and because he has his own agenda <laughs> his own plans yep read it for that part alone yeah because i like, guarantee you if you have a sick sense of humor like i do yeah you will you will die laughing it's like, it's like what the hell like why is this yeah. even in here this <laughs> but it's yeah. hilarious yeah. these guys are great yeah i, I love this series yes. thank you for writing space bastards yes thank you thank you Yes. So number three of the week. Yes. Number two. Superman 78. Oh, I have Batman Reptilian. Okay. Book four. Yeah, there was a scene in this book when I uh -huh. turned it, I almost jumped. It is that creepy. Yeah. Like this creature, what, what Batman finally finds out what it is. Where it came from. Where it came from. Yeah. Like you turn the page and it's like, whoa. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That creature design is awesome. This book is it, it, I it's like I it's like watching the movie Chud. It's Cut, just yeah, like yeah. Ugh. It's like you just feel dirty. Yes. Everything is gross and filthy, yeah. and you can like smell this book almost like yeah. at wet points. And yeah, watch that original movie Chud. <laughs> yeah, it's just like that's a New York City you want no part of. Yeah, yeah. it's like everyone's dirty. Yeah. <laughs> nasty. Um that's not what I recommend for Chud. Uh, but yeah, this, this, I mean, I, I couldn't wait 
to 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 get to the next page and see mm-hmm. what's going on and the stories that Batman's telling of mm-hmm. where Killer Croc may have come from. Yeah. It's disgusting. Yes, it is. Absolutely. It's really gross. <laughs> it's gross. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, don't uh, read this while you're Eat, eating. Eating, yeah, don't. Because uh, yeah. you may be like, okay, I'm done. Yeah. Even when you get to like, the first, second page, it's like, okay, yeah. I'm done. <laughs> it's like, did he just say that? Yeah. Are, that, they, are they showing that right there? Yeah. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they went there. Yeah. It's So for that alone, it's a solid recommend this week. I got Superman 78. This was just fun, straight up and down, all the way through. It, it, it's like, I can't help but read this. And just have the voices of every actor when I'm reading this. It's like Luther acts like Luther, Clark acts like Clark, Lois acts like Lois. It's great. It's, it's just like Batman eighty nine. Batman eighty nine. Yeah, and it's it was, exactly like that. Yeah, it, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, but yeah, it, it just um, my only reason why it's not number one is because I read one in here that just like, oh my god, this was so damn good. This just blew me away. I know what it is. Yeah, this was damn good too. It's just like it's like a be like a one A and one B. I did thoroughly enjoy this, and I can't wait for issue three. It was fantastic. Just what happens with Luther here in the very beginning is hysterical. Oh, Luther, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> very, yeah. It's very fitting. It is very fitting. It's perfect. <laughs> yes. Yep. And number one, I've got Batman yep. yeah, versus Big B, a Wolf and Gotham number one. I got Superman 78. Yeah, very good. Very fitting. Yeah. Yeah, to piggyback off of what Drew said, said yeah. I. it's exactly what I wanted. Yes. Like, it's exactly... It, they are who we thought they were. Yes, I will say that there's one scene in here. There's one scene. It, I would say it's it's it replicates an infamous scene from Superman two. Yes, it does. But it's a joke. I know it's a joke. It has to be a joke. joke. There's yes because it is not explained. Yes, it's like not, in yes. Superman two. <laughs> yes, it, it's just like it's just out there. It's like that's a joke. I know that's a joke. And if you've watched Superman two, you can probably guess what it is. Yeah, um, did you did come, did you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, I I watched. I was like. Ah, oh, that's, funny. that's, that's awesome. Funny. That's but yeah, yeah, it's great. It's a good tip of the cap. Yes. To Superman too. Uh, so yeah, this, I, I, it is, it's true. Everything, the dialogue is spot on. Every line of dialogue yes. is spot on. And in, in the whole book, and in, in as far as I'm concerned, like this, this is a perfect comic book. Yeah. This is what a comic book should be. It's what a Superman yeah. comic book should be. You have an impossible task. And of being the third yeah. Superman film, more or less. Yeah, and they're doing it. Yes, <laughs> I, is that what it should have been? Yeah, and this just—it's like you do this, and you then you read Batman eighty nine, you're like, what, what the, the hell? hell? Yeah, this is not Batman eighty nine. Not even close. No. It's like, what are you doing? Like, yeah. this is what you do, and it's perfect. Yeah, it's just got great, it's great banner between Superman and Luther. Luther just I going on it. about himself. And yeah, it's like, it's like, all right, all right, okay, we got this, got this helmet here. And I could just hear Gene Hackman. But, yeah. Yeah, it's like I, everything you have is from the neck down. Down, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just calling him stupid. It's like, I love it. I love it. He's like, he's saying again. He's like, I'll give you five hundred bucks if you take me to downtown. Yeah. <laughs> and then he doesn't. Pay. <laughs> I love it. It's so great. Yeah. I love it. It's so awesome. So I would recommend it. There's a great DC continuity uh, drop at the very beginning. It's not me- never mentioned in the Superman films. It's on one of the buildings. It's like, hey, I um, know that name. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. very fun read. And once awesome again, read. Batman versus Big B, uh, Wolf and Gotham. Mm-hmm. So much fun. The yeah. art in this is flipping incredible. There's a terrific mystery. The dialogue, magnificent. Bill Willingham, welcome back to the party, pal. It's great to have you back. We missed you. God, I want him to take over Batman after reading this. He writes oh, Batman too. so damn well. Mm-hmm. And the team, and the Robins, so well in this. It's like everything Batman is saying. It's like that's fucking Batman right there. This yeah. is this is him. Yeah, he tells him like, "Hey, you go. Yeah, you know, distract the cops. You yeah, do this. You do see it's. This is Batman. Yeah, it's none of this kitty whippy dialogue. Yeah. Oh, let's all talk and let's all say our stupid quippy yeah. little one liners. No. Yeah, none of that shit. No, it great. Like I said, there's a great mystery in here going mm-hmm. involving some literary and famous literary names, and maybe the Wolf and Fables is involved. And it, it like I said, there's a great tour. Is a very horrific torture scene that happens, but uh, I yeah. cannot recommend this enough. This is how you do a mystery story with yeah. Batman. It you get fantastic. two torture scenes, this and Spawn. Spawn. Yeah, they're done very differently, but they're yeah. both gruesome in their own way. Yes, like this one is kind of leading you to your imagination, and that <laughs> one it kind of shows you, <laughs> which is great. 
so there you have it, guys. Those are our picks of the week. You really can't go wrong. I mean, our, our top yeah. three, three or four were kind of the same. So it's like, and it, it's hard whenever this comes out for it not yeah. to be the king, but yeah. like, prove me wrong. It's yeah, like, it's, yeah, right a crap. It's like, I'm yeah. more than, trust me. Like I said, that would have been my one, yeah. my one B. Yeah. Like with Batman 89, it's like, this is something that I'm going to meticulously look at. And yes. if it doesn't yeah. pass the smell test, yeah. I'm gonna be more than happy to rip it to shreds. And that's that's Superman. That's the third Superman film right there. As far as it, I'm concerned, hundred percent. Yeah. So there you have it, guys. Those are our picks of the week. Let us know what you think. Are we right? Are we wrong? Am I right? Is Kyle right? Am I wrong? Kyle wrong? Let us know. Is Sean right? Yeah. Sean right? Yeah. Could be. But here we go, guys. The big announcement. So tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. It is now uh, Tuesday, nine twenty-eight. Tomorrow, nine twenty-nine on nine twenty-nine at around six thirty p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are going to be doing a live launch of our store exclusive Ooh. Space Bastards number Ooh. eight by the great cover by the great Frank Uzen. Look at that. Mm. Love it. Yes. Damn. There is there's a signature right back there. Now the kicker, guys, we're gonna be launching this live on YouTube tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're gonna have some special guests going live. Not gonna say who. But we're going to have some special guests when we're launching this tomorrow night, guys. Could be Sean. Could, could be. Could be <laughs> could me. Be. Could be me. Yeah. Could be all of us. Or some, maybe some more people. Could be. So, guys, please tune in tomorrow night for your chance to get very limited and su- very, very limited in supply Space Bastards number eight, the Comics Elite. I want one. Yes, me too. I hope, yeah. I, hope I, get I hope one. I can get one. Yeah, that's how small the print runs are. Yeah. Right. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We appreciate it. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe comment hit the notification bell it's down there somewhere usually sometimes and uh be sure to type in your like number uh maybe leave a comment and buy what you like click what you want don't listen to the haters and uh just have fun reading just have fun. fun and we'll see you guys again next time tomorrow night hopefully